got what you need? Yep, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? <laughs> Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers. I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope. But there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. God damn it. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Okay, how the hell did... It's not hard to put two and two together, Dee. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it.
Wow, word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay, ready when you are. All right, let's listen up. Okay, now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell, pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. We allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Abby. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm... She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Now the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip? Strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean Aha, uh -huh. that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh... Remember. 
What about this one? Ricky, uh... I'm not sure that, uh... Well, I hear that Addie doesn't really like, um... people messing around in her business. Yeah, I... I heard that, too. What about this one? <sighs> Dick, I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's, yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Two dogs back. What? Where? Where the hell is he? He took off when he saw me. Jeremy followed him. I, I know. I tried to stop him. Jesus, where, Ricky? Jeremy tracked him to the old sawmill, said two dog looked like he was holed up in the abandoned Nero camp. Okay, I'll take care of him. I need you to bring back his knife. <laughs> Wait, you need proof? Jesus. Right. All, fine, great, whatever you say. Don't let him get away, Deke. Who knows how many bodies are buried out there? Yeah, I got this. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz. All right, I got you. Okay. What can I get you? Uh, check back later, I guess. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Yeah, 
a couple of guys burned out in the nest a few weeks back. Hold on. I'll get it. Good night. I'm at the sawmill. Going after him. Be careful, Deacon. Remember, there's... There's a big fucking horde here? Yeah, I remember. Thanks, Deacon. <laughs> Gotta be around here somewhere. Come on, Pooch. Where are you? If I were a dog. Drop.
It's not gonna open. Shoot on. So hard. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going, pal? Come here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hello. All right, come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. Have it your way. Okay. Hey, no, what? wake up, Ooh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What's this? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? It ain't worth the cost of the paper it's written on. <laughs> What's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is, Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No way. <laughs> no, I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, you got it didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the debt cord, we blow the cave, boom, goodbye, oh. horde. Uh -huh. It was your goddamn idea. Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. Keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here, because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right there. What are you talking about? Just trust me. Jesus. You in? I'll see you there. <laughs> 